We can praise the Lord by raising your hand. Everybody raise your hand up and down. That's the form of praise, y'all. We can praise the Lord by singing, which is what we've been doing here all night long. Amen. Any Baptist here tonight? Read your Bible. We can do praise by doing a little jig. Amen. It talks about it in the Bible. Ecclesiastes says there's a time to dance. Dance, dance, wherever you can be. I am the Lord of the dance that is. That's right. That's right. So I want to see everybody dance and sing. And when I say praise the Lord, get your hands up in there and praise Him. Okay? Okay. I got to see Wayne dance. I ain't never seen him. <laughs> Come on up here so everybody can see Wayne. <laughs> I woke up this morning with a song in my head. I sat there for a moment thinking it must have been on the radio. But then I realized silence and then I knew it must be from God. It must be brand new. Here we go. Make me feel like dancing, singing. Praising the Lord for yeah. all the wonders and blessings He has given me. Make me feel like dancing, singing, praising the Lord. I can't thank Him enough for saving me. Well, I thought I was dreaming or something. Oh, yeah. And I heard this song, but I know in my heart God was. And it all along, he is the author of this beautiful song. This song I must share with the world. Do it, Wayne. Make me feel like dancing, singing, praising the Lord for all the wonders and blessings he's given me. Make me feel like dancing, singing. Praising the Lord, I can't thank Him enough to save me. Everybody say, "Woo!" Don't feel good, just let go, let God. Amen. That's right. All right, here we go. I want to see you dancing. If you feel like dancing, singing, praising the Lord, just stand up with me and sing. All in harmony, I feel like dancing, singing, praising the Lord. I can't thank Him enough for saving me. No, I can't thank Him enough for saving me. Are y'all being worried yourselves to be around the fall? Blood ain't wiser than God. Anybody ever heard of that? Amen. Okay. How we doing on time? Why ain't we doing all right? It's about time for trivia. Okay, we'll do this morning. Then we'll, one more. We'll turn it over. I wrote this song about. 17 years ago. God, I don't seem like it's been that long. An old friend of mine, we called him Roadrunner. I miss that right. He done gone to heaven now. He loved that song so much. He said, Captain, I want you to go to Nashville with me and uh, get that song out there. So we went up to Nashville. We went up there to this great big huge song fest. And it was for singers and songwriters and Musicians and this, that, and the other. Kind of tickled me. Every time I went up on stage, I had about 20 stages there. And every time I went up on the stage and got about halfway through the song. Now this is, this is a secular event. It's not a Christian event, okay? But I would look out and people would be setting their drinks down and walking away from them. And they would be looking like, that ain't mine. It just well, it was all I could do to finish the song. The first few stages that went on. 
And then about, y'all remember when Shriners was having a real hard time and they were fixing to close their doors? Well, a uh, uh, barbecue place up on Woodard Road called Sticky Fingers. Y'all ever heard of them? They decided they wanted to do something to help Shriners out, so they, they solicited 10 bands to come up there and play at their little old barbecue and bar. And they had Budweiser tents sitting out there. And out of those 10 bands, there's one Christian band. Our band. Keys and Marjo, they were with me. This is the first time they'd ever seen this happen to you. And they, they were just, y'all were going away, wouldn't you? Yes. Be back we'll be back. <laughs> we we did like we always do. We opened up with Victory in Jesus and did a couple of more you know pretty upbeat songs and then about the fourth song in uh, and we were what sixth or seventh band out there to play. Anyway, we got about halfway through that song. Blood ain't wiser than God. And I had dedicated that song to the guys at the Budweiser wagon. <laughs> they shut the wagon down and it never opened back up the rest of the time they were there. And during our set on stage, Sticky Fingers took in almost $30,000 for Shriners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never doubt what God can use if you'll let Him. Amen. And I've learned that He can use anybody, anytime, anywhere, any way He wants to. Amen. Right. Amen. If He's not using you tonight, He wants to. Amen. Tonight's your night to give Him. Amen. Four o'clock in the morning, little bitty's been up all night. It's hard to sleep for the roaring, mom and daddy downstairs in a fight. Suddenly his door is pushed open, his mama enters her eye black and blue. With a tear in his eye, little Billy says, why? Why does daddy do that to you, mom? She said, oh, my dear son, I too find it hard to understand. But your daddy's been seeking his wisdom. Life comes in that red and white cat. Little Billy held his head down As he did, he started to sob Somewhere inside her she heard him say But mama, don't daddy know But ain't wiser than God But ain't wiser But ain't wiser Some say he is, but he's not. So here's a message for all you daddies. Or whoever might have forgot, but ain't wiser, wiser than God. Little Billy says, I remember that he used to go to church. Now he bring me some candy when he got home after work. Since my daddy's been drinking, oh, he isn't the same sweet man. Oh, the only thing he's given me lately are 
He's parched from the back of his head But ain't wiser than the wise But ain't wiser than God But ain't wiser than God Some say he is, but he's not So here's a message for all you daddies Or whoever might have forgot But ain't wiser Wiser than God It's four o'clock in the morning Little Billy's been in bed since night No longer for sleep is he longing For last Sunday, his daddy accepted Christ Suddenly his door is pushed open With mom and daddy in her hand in hand And with tears in their eyes, they stand there and cry as they remember the words that he said Sing it with me on But ain't wiser But ain't wiser to God But ain't wiser Stop saying he is but he's not So here's a message for all you daddies or whoever might have forgot But ain't wiser Wiser than God But ain't wiser Wiser than God there Ain't nothing wiser than God, amen? amen. Really appreciate y'all letting me come and share with you tonight. I've enjoyed it, and I look forward to coming back again. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. Appreciate it. Come on, Jim. All right. Come on, Wayne. Need your help a little bit, buddy. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> This here for Calvin Terrace. One more time. Come on. He's about the only person I know that he's famous. <laughs> Are you famous? You from here? No, no, no. Your brother is Jack Ellenberg. He's pretty popular. Jimmy. Oh. Uh -huh. You're supposed to put an E in on the beginning of that. Uh -huh. Infamous. Oh, infamous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you said that. I, I ain't going to say that. But anyway, we're going to give away a few CDs here. Who won last week? Who was here last week? When anybody win last week? Yeah, you, I won last week. You did? Okay. Yeah, I won one of them. All right. Okay. All right. We're going to ask a few trivia questions about, about the Bible. And uh, I'm going to let Wayne start out with the first one. I think you had it ready to go. Okay. He's going to ask you a trivia question about the Bible. And the first one who can get it is going to want a free CD. So here we go. If you understand what he's talking about, just holler it out. They'll uh, answer. Okay. This is really a trivia question that's really important in your life. And I feel that it's real important to everyone that's sitting in here tonight. And I thought we'd start it off with this. Uh, how do you know that you're going to heaven? That's a good one. Jesus Christ. Because I say I took Jesus Christ as my Savior. Whosoever believeth in me should not perish but have everlasting life. Right. The everlasting life is very important yeah. in the truth. Amen. Uh, to me, I feel like the only way you're going to get to heaven, and I'll answer this, and I'll let you give her the CD, because Jesus Christ is the only way you're going to get in heaven, but most important of all is that you have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you keep that Holy Spirit in you daily, and you repent daily. Mm -hmm. And you re re be ready when He comes. Be ready with that Holy Spirit in you. Amen. When, you, when you check out of here, you go to that eternal place she's talking about. Be 
make sure you've got the Holy Spirit in it. So, so she, she got the Jesus answer. Christ is, uh, is, is your way into heaven. And of course, you can't speak to Jesus it's without holy. being the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, but she got it. So where's she at? Well, she, who, who, who got it? I thought it was on here. She won last week. She won last week. I won last week. Well, come on. Whoever won, come on up. Who didn't win it last week, come and get it. <laughs> but, but his answer is you got, to, you got to be holy. you got to have the Holy Ghost. In other words, that's what he's, he means. There you go. To make it to heaven. Of course, you got to have Jesus, but the Holy Ghost. All right, Jimmy Swagger. How you like old Jimmy? Huh? Thank you, sir. You ever been here before? I don't think I've seen you. One time. Y'all, hey, this is the biggest crowd you've had so far. I think we got over 40 people here tonight. 41. 41. Okay. Let's go off the wall and have some questions about the wings. How about that? All right. All right. I'm going to give you the answer. That's the answer right there, okay? That's right. numbers. I know. That's the answer. That's the answer, though. Okay. Okay. All right. The population of Williamson, South Carolina. All right. Okay. You know, okay. You know, okay. You know what it is. Okay. All right. The first one who gets it wins a. Uh, Y'all remember the tallies? Yep. The group tallies. Deborah's got a new CD. I got that CD by her. Deborah Tally, and she's really good from the Tally Trio. All right. Is it is it ten thousand four hundred? Is it 4,216 or 6,250? The population of the week. 6,250. Uh-oh. Are you from here? You don't know that. Is it? C. B. C. 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 Who says C? Well, yeah. No, the preacher here. Well, that's the third one. You got it. It's 4,216 as of today. Come on up here. Now, Captain Lee's would be what? One of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live in with you. I'll live in with you. Right. He's in the like, suburbs. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, okay. I'm talking about, I guess, the city. Yeah. I'm going to think about it. It's the city. Town. Yeah, the town. The town area. All right. The second Baptist church ever uh, in the whole United States was in what city in uh, South Carolina? It was the second Baptist church in the whole United States. What was, what was it at? Uh, honey Path. Columbia. Uh-oh, you put you close. Bells. Uh-oh, look, look for the south. Bells, sir. Look, look for the south in Columbia. Charleston. I didn't know this. That's the second Baptist church ever in the United States. It's in the Uh-oh. Yeah. I had to tell him the answer. I thought, yeah, I knew the answer, but I thought he said it. Uh, Art, what did you say over here? I said Charleston. Yeah, right here. You got it. Give her a hand. Come on up here. You got it. It's Charleston. Give her a hand. Come on. Charleston. Well, uh, I, I got this off of Google, so don't blame me. I got it from Google. <laughs> Come on up here and get it. Google answer. Google answer. Yeah, Google. I, I'm getting this from Google. I, I knew I heard Charleston over here. Charleston. Charleston. What's that movie uh What's Guess what? I'm going to get my brains from. Little. That's for you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, it, <laughs> you ever seen the movie The Notebook? Yep. Yeah. I didn't know they made it there. I didn't know they Great made movie. it. Great they movie. made it in Charleston. I didn't know that. Mm. Charleston. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question about me. Mm -hmm. I was born right here in Anderson County. If y'all can tell me what little city was I born in. I can give you a free city by Bill Shaw from Anderson. He was with him. Blackwood Brothers Quartet. Belton. Uh, huh? Belton. Who said Belton? Come on up here. How'd you know? You must have been in the Dallas Corner. I've seen you in Belton. Oh, you, uh, 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 she Googled it. Uh, 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 she Googled it. Uh, 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 she is ugly in the My daddy always made a joke about it. They said she Googled it. No, I didn't have a job. My dad always made a joke about Dr. Michael Wayne. I don't know if y'all remember him. Yes. He was a doctor. Do you remember him, huh? Yes. Yeah, he was he mean. He was my too. doctor when I was He was a mean doctor, and I still feel it. My daddy said, when you was born, you were so ugly. When Dr. Michael Wayne slapped you, he meant it. 
I saw the nurse the other day that was there delivering me. She was pointing at me and still laughing at me. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you want to ask her words? You want to come up and ask her that question you, you want to ask? Go Just ahead. stand up and ask it. Yeah, you had one. You, you said you had the one you're going, you're going to ask them. You don't forget it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll see. tell everybody I got a photographic memory. Uh -huh. I just can't remember to put film in it. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> All right. We're going to ask another question about Williamson. I'm going to see if you can get this because this is where you're from. Yeah. All right. In 1842. <laughs> <laughs> That's